coming to you from the lovely city of LaGrange. This is Panther Talk, your weekly dose of world news, trivia, and campus updates. I'm Aria, and here with me is Will Gray. Hello, hello. Hello. So glad to be back. Yes. We love our new faces on Panther Talk. We are super excited. Um, Speaking of new faces, we're probably going to have some guests coming up here soon. Um, that's my job to get the guest schedule so we can get them on the podcast. And guess what? I haven't done that yet. So Shucks. that's why we don't have one this week, but we will have one next week. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Everybody's schedule works out to where we can get one on. Um, but some possible guests that we are thinking about. Now tell us about who these possible guests might be, Aria. Yes. So, um, for our Panthers who were here last year. In spring semester, we all know we got a new football coach, Coach Dodson. I would love to have him on just to kind of talk about the football program. Talk and about his vision. Yes, his vision. Yes. Um, I also want to have Ashley on, the Reverend Ashley Jenkins, um, our new chaplain, her first year. Super exciting. She's done some great stuff already. She's wonderful. She really is. I love Reverend Ashley. Me too. I love seeing her in the calf and stuff. Yeah. And like when... Uh, Because we sing in the choir at the church, at the First United Methodist Church up the road, and uh, she comes every once in a while, and it's really great to see her there. Her and her husband and her son. Yes. William. (laughs) William. William. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, I also definitely want to bring Dr. Baxter back to talk about um, some of the new stuff that's going on, because last year, or last semester when we had her on... Um, she talked about the possibilities of stuff that's going for like new residence halls, what they're going to do with the Henry Hill is what I've been calling it. That's <laughs> the a Henry great name. Hill. Henry Hill. Yes. Um, that makes me think of Take It From The Top. Professor Harold Hill. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of which, you guys should come see it. You should. Homecoming weekend. Yes. Um, but yeah, just to kind of talk about um, the stuff that's going on on campus, like confirming Mange as our next residence hall mm-hmm. and the town homes on Panther Way, which I'm Fingers pretty sure has been confirmed okay. because there are stakes across Panther Way. I think that's what the I watched the I state no of the college address just because I like to know the things. And I'm glad I, you did. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she said. I don't know. Ask her, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get the chance to ask her on an on episode the, of Panther Talk. Yes, on an episode of Panther Talk. We shall see. Um, so yeah, that's some of our guests. We'll probably have a lot more than that because that's literally only three, but that's the ones that are in my brain at the moment. We'd like to get some presidents from different um, student organizations. Yes, a little student on. org segment going on. Um, Oh, also Professor Noel and Professor Tim to talk about the different shows that are coming up. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah. Um, Just some other little knickknacks here. (laughs) Um, Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, did you see Timothy Chalamet and and Kylie uh, Jenner? Hugged up on each other at the U.S. Open this week. (laughs) I, you know what? I didn't watch the U.S. Open. And I just found out about this like five minutes ago before we started recording this. Not, not, not much of a tennis person yourself? Yeah, no. I know Dr. PB is, though. She went to um, the U.S. Open like a couple weeks ago because I was in her class and we didn't have class one day. I would really love to go to Flushing Meadows someday in New York and watch the U.S. Open. What but hopefully that? it's where they play the U.S. Oh, Open every year. okay. I'm tracking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully uh, Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner are not there <laughs> smooching all over each other. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Yeah. Um, I bet it was hot. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's New York. It's New York. It's not Georgia. I, in my brain, everywhere is just hot. Yeah. During the summer, but at least it's not humid up there. I mean, I did go to New York in June, and it wasn't that bad. It gets pretty hot up there. I wore sometimes, a sweatshirt, especially in the city, because you got all that all that concrete pavement everywhere. Yes. just absorbs the sunlight. You know, so true. It's like ten degrees hotter in the city than anywhere else in so true. New York. That's kind of like Columbus. But on crack. <laughs> Columbus is like New York City, yes. definitely. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah. Speaking of, or I mentioned this a few minutes ago, Henry Hill, where Henry Hall used to be, is now just a mound of dirt. But it looks like they put some grass on it because oh, the other day good. I walked out of my apartment and it was bright green. Okay. And then this morning when I walked out, it was a little less bright green. 
And it nice. looked a little bit more grassy. Like you, they looked like they put seeds down or like they... I don't know what they put down, but it was it was okay. bright green. Um right. Yeah, I don't know the science <laughs> behind that. But now there's grass. Sweet. So <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Um oh my god. So it's no longer a dirt mound. Now it's there's no grass. It's no longer on a dirt it. mound. It's it's grass. A grassy I was, hill. I was walking uh back to my car in the bridge parking lot last night and I noticed a purple light in the distance, like in the um, purple light. historic district oh. of LaGrange. Uh, and I have no idea. It was near, there was a, an American flag and a bright purple light shining like on the flag and around it. But I have no clue. Where would that be? I don't know. But it was a nice little view, especially at nighttime. The it Chick-fil-A? was kind of pretty. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A. The purple Chick-fil-A. The new Chick-fil-A. LaGrange. I don't know if you've been there yet. The one by the Publix? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We've been there together, but it's fine. Oh, <laughs> you're so right. We yeah. did go that one time. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot no, no, about that. No, no, you're good. That makes it's, me, it's that makes me a, feel bad. It was a busy summer. It was. Um, very busy summer. I think we were just picking up food for someone. So. We were probably picking up food for Valerie Longshore. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> Who is an alum of the college. <laughs> Woo, theater department. Woo! Um, yeah. So we also have CE credits. What CE events are going on right now? Are Ooh, you? now that one. Um, you can check your email I'm to find say out. Check your email to find out because they just, send out a weekly update. That's what I'm about to do, actually. I'm CE not sure who sends that out. Credits. But I'm very grateful for um, it. Miss. Oh, Miss Vicky Evans. Let's see. For this week, yesterday or Monday was the 18th, right? Yes. Okay. Today's the 20th. So we've got. On oh that one already passed, uh oh. So did that one. Oh no. Um. Anyway, well, all of these that are for this week's are going to be done by the time this drops. So just check your email. Yeah. Next week there'll be a, a bunch Monday of morning events going on. Yeah, Monday morning you'll get an email from Miss Vicky Evans, and it'll have all the CE credits. So check your emails. I'm pretty sure I said that in the last episode too. Check your emails. You can go to chapel on Sunday nights and get a <gasps> CE credit. Yes. So you can go to 10 chapel services and get 10 CE credits. And then you can keep going to chapel after that, even and though you're not getting yes, any CE credits for it. You should continue to go to chapel because we have some guest preachers that have mm-hmm. been coming, which has been super duper awesome. Uh, my, Actually, my home church pastor is coming sometime in October to preach. That's exciting. The Reverend Kalen Short. Um, what is the name of your home church? I Pine Mountain First United Methodist okay. Church. I figured, but I wasn't yes. certain. <laughs> um, you should totally come check it out every once in a while. It's it's a nice little church. I love it there. Um, but yeah, he's coming at some point in October, I think is what Ashley told me, to do a little guest preaching, which I love. I'm super excited for it. It's really interesting to have a different preacher every Sunday. Because yeah. it's been a, a new person every Sunday, and it's yes. cool to see a different perspective on you know, yes. on God's word. Yeah, because Dr. Bolton came and did a, a sermon. And then um, a BCM, oh, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, um, but he's the Baptist Community... Baptist Campus Ministries, I believe, is BCM. Yes, that's BCM. But the, I'm talking about, he came and did a sermon the other day, or a couple of weeks ago, and I can't think of his name I off the top either. of my head. It was really, really great, But it was really, really, great, really good. It was really, really good. I felt... Moved Me after too. that one. The Holy Spirit was moving in that room. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So check your emails for CE credits. Um, and then anything in the college news that's going on? Well, let's see. CE credits, obviously. What else is going on? There was a recent update about Tamari from. Oh yes, Doctor Baxter. Yes. Um, I believe he has a little bit of movement in his legs. Yes, and he was able to sit up. Which is really great. Which is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Keep checking your email for those updates. Yes. We're, I'm, me personally, I'm super grateful for those updates. Yeah. Because I want to check on my boy Tamari. Right. Um, trying to think, what else is going on campus life? Goodness gracious. Homecoming is coming up. That's yes, a big one. Is. Homecoming, October. What is the start date of homecoming? I know it ends on the 15th. 12th? No. No. It's that it's entire week. It's a whole week. week, yeah. We, we, the Student Life Instagram posted the whole week. The schedule. 
which they didn't put take it from the top on the schedule, but it's it's there. It's happening. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be like 7 p.m. every night and then two shows on Sunday. I don't know. Ask uh, Professor Tim or Professor Noel for that information. That's happening during homecoming. The football there will game. be more information about that sent out closer to the, yes, the dates as we're well. We're still in rehearsal. <laughs> yes, very much um, so. Um, what else homecoming? Football game, which would be really good. What is the gala? I saw something about oh, a gala, and I don't, yes, so don't know anything about that. I'm pretty sure it's Black Student Union, union putting it on. Um, and it's just, I think it's kind of similar to what they did in the spring, the Met Gala where you just get really fancy. And from what I heard over the summer during orientation leader training is that um, all the nominations for homecoming, king, queen, Mm. princess, prince, all of that, um, the top five, I think, don't quote me on this, ask someone in the housing office. (laughs) Um, We don't really know anything, but we're just just, going up. (laughs) This is kind of what I heard over the summer. I don't know if this is still a thing. But I think the top five will be announced and then there's like a whole other process before the game on Saturday when they do the whole walking thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, by the time this goes live. Is it just a dinner or is it like a... I think it's kind of like a dance. A dance. Okay, cool. Because I noticed there was not a homecoming dance. Yeah. And... We usually don't have one. Yeah. At least we didn't have one last year. I can't speak for before that. Yeah. But yeah, lots of other stuff. So some sports updates. Um, according to this little script that we have here, there were no wins this week, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean that we love our Panthers any less. Hey, it happens sometimes. Truth. You're not going to win every game. Truth. And we believe in our Panthers. So we do. So this week is going to be better. We're yes. Gonna, we're going to get some dubs this week. <laughs> yeah, Dub it up. Yes. Um... <laughs> But yeah, go cheer on our Panthers mm-hmm. at the different sporting events. Um, volleyball, Saturday, soccer. Football game, Saturday at 1 p.m., right? Yes, but this will ha- this is after that. Yeah. But the homecoming game, I think, is the next game after this one. Okay. I think. Again, check your emails. Um, t- <laughs> that's the recurring theme. Yeah. Like last semester when we did Panther Talk, I said... I think I said slay in every single episode. Check your this, email is the This one phrase. is check your emails. It's a little bit more useful than the word slay. Um, a lot more useful than the word slay. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, T.O., the athletic director, usually sends out a uh, week at a glance with all of the sporting events that are going on, even if it's away. So, you know, join the live stream or whatever for the sports. So, yeah, that's some little sports update for you all. Now we're going to head into some world news updates. Yeah, so um, this week the uh, world leaders are gathering at the United Nations Assembly. Um, we'll highlight what happens next in, uh, or what happens in the next episode. Do um, we have any clue what, what the meeting is about? No. No? Okay. I don't know. But you know what? We can... Uh, Update you. Yeah, in next episode. We will, we'll let you know what the meeting was about yes. next time and you we'll listen to Panther Talk. And we'll let you Talk. know what the decision was if there's a decision to be had. Yeah. To be made. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much uh, That's pretty much it. That's all we got for you this yeah. week, guys. This is, this is a kind of a short episode, so we apologize for that. Everything got crazy all at the same time. Yep. <laughs> and we're all kind of on the struggle bus right now. Right. But you know what? That's okay. Because... Yeah. Um, But next week's episode is going to be fabulous. We're going to have a fabulous guest. Hopefully. We will. I'm manifesting it. We will have a fabulous guest. We're going to have an awesome guest next week. Yes. So, Panther Talk is written by Trip Floyd, produced by Aria Mabry, Hair Toss, and Kelton Hunt. (laughs) Audio engineering by Maureen Goffner. Audio editing by Keonthony Seals. And music by Jacob Broom. And that's our show. Thank you all for listening. Goodbye for now. And have a good one, Panthers. Bye, y'all.